Hey guys. Hello. We're live. Let's see. Is everyone it hasn't switched over yet? Can you guys hear us or see us? Hello. <laughs> Why is it you guys hear us? See us? I don't know Hello. what's happening. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, ah, Hi. there we go. Hey guys. Sorry, technical difficulties. I was like, <laughs> oh no, what's happening? It's not working. So we're live from the Beck House in Pentagwishin, Ontario. So we'll take a little tour a little bit later when more people uh, show up. But Hey, Sharon. So I'm just going to say some shout outs to people. So, okay. So we got, we got, there's Max. Hey, Max. Thanks for coming. Then we got Mike B. Hey, Mike. And we got Sharon. And we got K. Oh, that's not K. That's James. Hi, James. <laughs> K. K. There's Kay. And then we got Gozaxers. Hey, Gozaxers. And then we got Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly. And we got Christina. We got, hello. Thank you for joining. And we got Mitch. We got some new people here in the chat. That's awesome. And then we got Joe. Hey, Joe. Thanks for showing up. Yeah. So, guys, we've had, we'll, we'll wait um, for a few. Oh, we got Mike. Oh, where's Mike? Oh. Ah, that's re. Oh, what am I doing here, guys? Sorry. <laughs> hey there, Mike. Hey, Mike. Thanks for joining. So sorry, the chat is a little bit slow on stream. Why am I phone being possessed? It's ah going crazy. Okay. Hey, there's Tarnia. So there's Tarnia, and we got B Perry. Hey, B Perry. I haven't seen you in a bit. And then I'm going to butcher the name. I'm sorry. So, hi, thanks for joining in. So, here's me and Reese. We're actually at a location we're going to be investigating tonight. Um, this one is pretty haunted. We've already had some interesting experiences. So, um, we'll wait uh, for a little bit more people to show up. Um, and then we'll get into telling what happened already. Um, so, yeah. And sorry if I missed anybody with uh, the shout outs. But so how's everyone doing tonight? So we're pretty excited. Oh, there we go. There's Sarah. Hey, Sarah. She's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so tonight um, we're just going to be, it's not going to be a super, super long uh, live. Um, it's just going to be probably about an hour or so because we still have to investigate. We've already um, investigated a little bit um, prior. And then we had a little bit of weird things with the perilous. Um, and then something else happened. So I'm going to wait to tell you guys that because that was mind blowing pretty much. Um, and then, uh, then yeah, so just basically hang out guys ask any questions. Um, if you're new here, you can ask questions and we'll hopefully be able to answer. Um, so sorry guys, I'm just looking at the chat. So I want to make sure I don't want to miss anybody. Um, and Mike tired. Yeah, we're going to be tired because I have a feeling we're not sleeping because the rooms so this is, we're going to do a tour, but there's two bedrooms. Um, yeah, no, not happening. I don't think, I think we'll stay up and watch, um, Netflix probably after investigating. Um, it's going to be definitely interesting. Uh, oh, okay. I see. E K no E K I K. I don't know. I really suck at names. I'm really sorry. <laughs> So, and yeah, Max, we do have it all night long. Yeah. Yeah. We get the, I think checkout is at noon. We'll probably end up leaving a little bit sooner because we're about two and a half hours away from home. Um, so yeah. So it's a little bit more, a little bit more up North. It's a lot colder. There's snow here. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot of snow, mm -hmm. but there is some snow here. So, um, it's negative. So Max will probably know cause she's Australian. So they have Celsius, but it was negative. I think it's negative 12 right now. Or something like that. So hold on. Yeah. Celsius. I didn't think it was that cold. Like more negative six, negative well, eight. Yeah, negative it was eight. Like negative twelve. Yeah. So it's cold up here. 
Yeah, watch Hauntings on Netflix <laughs> later. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really, really nice up here. Um, Ghost Rex. Like the drive, um, like once you get through Toronto, it's uh real nice, all forest. Yeah. Which is really lovely. Yeah. And we're actually by a lake too. We didn't realize. So yeah, we're right down the street from one of the lakes. So it's really beautiful out here. Yeah. Yes, Max, that is cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot, more, a lot more crisp. Oh, there's Crow. Okay. So here's Crow. Let me shout out to Crow. Yay. Hey, Crow. Thanks for joining. Ooh, we got like 19 people in the chat, it says. That's pretty freaking awesome. Thanks, everybody. So I might as well get, get start talking. Hold on. I have to hide the comment. There you go. So um, for those who actually don't know us, because there are some new people in the chat. Um, so my name is Cassie. I'm Reese. That's Reese. And we're Weeping Willow Paranormal. Uh, so we are based in Canada. Um, so um, in Ontario, Southern Ontario. Uh, we will be probably traveling a bunch um, in the near future, hopefully, and hopefully into the States a bit, as long as things kind of calm down in the, you know, the dreaded C word. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So we're going to tell the, our experience or do you want to do a tour of the place first or what do we want to do? Uh, we can talk about them and do a quick tour if you okay. want. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. So Reese had to go downstairs. Um, so we're on the third floor um, and we have a whole apartment. We have a full kitchen. We'll give the tour. But so Reese had to go downstairs. Um, I'm, I was sitting on the couch. And so we have a pair of tunes. It arrived. It was like a Christmas miracle. I finally got my pair of tunes. Um, it's, yeah, that blew my mind. After like it. four months. Four months of waiting. <laughs> and we also have a REM pod. You can kind of see it behind yeah, us. Yeah, it's right, it's right here. It's so. active. So if you guys see it go off. Yeah. So, yeah, we have actually, uh, right now, we have two cameras going. One battery, I think, is getting low on the one camera. And the other one's recording. Yeah. So we got two static cams going right now. We got our REM pods. Um, oh, hey, Betty. I want to do a shout out because you're so supportive. You're awesome, Betty. Um, so... Um, so I'm sitting on the couch, Reese was going to go downstairs and the freaking pair of tunes goes off and I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I get up cause I can still hear Reese in the hallway and I'm like Reese, but I realized there was a door after the fact. So she couldn't hear me. So I'm yelling her name because I'm like the freaking pair of tunes is going off. So then tell what happened for you. So as I'm going down the staircase, because it's like very long on the third floor, so I get down the first kind of bunch, and then I hear this lady, lady tell me, hey, hurry up. And I'm like looking down the stairwell going, hello, is anybody there? Thinking that one of the other guests is heading down the stairwell, but nope, nobody in the stairwell. I get to the point where the voice was coming from and I could hear the other residents in the place, but totally different voice, totally different volumes. You can tell that they're muffled because they're behind walls, but this was like clear as day, lady telling me to hurry my butt up down the stairs, apparently. Yeah. So then, so a couple minutes later, Reese comes back upstairs and as she's opening the door, the paratune goes off again. And guys, the paratunes is in a bedroom where nothing can set it off. Like it's like yeah. bedroom right beside us. So that yeah, like it's been on this entire time and we've been out here walking around. Nothing has set it off unless you are in that room. Yeah. So basically I can, I can demonstrate it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me see. Yeah. So like the second you walk in the room, it goes off because it sends your motion, yeah. but being out here doesn't go off. You guys, you guys hear can hear the creepy little lullaby. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah, so it will stop. But yeah, that kind of blew my mind. But it was so weird that Reese had an experience in the hallway at the same around time. Around the exact same time as this was going off. Yeah, because I could still <laughs> a rude ghost. But uh <laughs> I could like hear Reese still walking down the stairs. That's why I was yelling yeah. her name. So I thought, oh, she's not outside yet. But then she hears a freaking late like a yeah. lady saying, like, hurry up or Yeah. And like some background to this because we were talking right before I was about to go outside. And late earlier in one of our like uh ghost box sessions and with the perilous, like a trickster came up, someone who just said oh. like prank wanted to prank us. And we were talking about how if that music box went off when she was up here alone it would freak her out yeah and the second i left what does the little 
keratins it goes off yeah twice and it hasn't gone off since since she's been back yeah so and the thing is guys i have a camera ready in that room so i went to look at the camera it was off so the battery had died but the other set of camera that's kind of near the room was still running so if anything i might have some audio like audio um footage of it um because it was the room like behind it so um yeah, Max. Yeah, I'm definitely not sleeping with that thing, not sleeping with that thing on in that room. Yeah, <laughs> and it's funny because we actually, uh, like, we were talking, like, we picked our rooms. I'm like, I don't want the room where the pair, or, well, we didn't put the paratunes in there at the time, but it has a mannequin. We'll show you on the yes. tour. So I'm like, there's no way I'm sleeping in that room. Reese can have it. And then my room, um, has well, what's my room? Oh, it has the secret door, so that was weird. <laughs> so, um, so uh, Tarnia just actually has said a good thing. Uh, I, I would not say necessarily scared, I was unsettled and I had full body chills. Um, and I got up, I was like, because I was like, I wanted Reese to hear it going off, that's why I was yelling her name. Yeah. So, it was not that I was scared, I was just really unsettled. Um, this place pretty much, I've been getting goosebumps off and on the whole night. Uh, we've been here pretty much walking in the door. So, yeah, it's definitely... It's like, an unsettling, but it's not, like, something scary. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> the mannequins. Yeah, so I'm in the mannequin room with the creepy dress on. Yeah. yeah. And there's, like, some dolls, too, guys. We'll show you on the little <laughs> tour. There's dolls. Um yeah, so there's actually, it's really, kind of really... Sleep with the lights on, Mike, maybe, possibly, yes. probably. <laughs> Most likely. That's what happened when I stayed at the... Um, river Rapids? Yeah, River Rapids, yeah. and I slept with the lights on. So, you know, we're paranormal investigators. We still can be kind of freaky. It yeah. looks like there is a bot in the chat, so a mod can take care of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, so, we're going to remove... Yeah, the dolls is definitely this this place is definitely at first I was like, is it all hyped up? Because like this is one of our really like really, really haunted location. Um and uh no guys, this is legit. I cannot wait to get like we've done a little bit of investigating. Um I have a brand new camera, so um I can show you guys a little bit. So new camera, um, so way better audio, way better footage. It's coming your way, so I'm so excited for you guys to see the, the this new episode. Oh, now both static cameras just went off. Uh, they've been dying like yeah. hotcakes. Yeah, both. Uh... Oh, I should make you a mod <laughs> there, Joe. Hold on. Do -do -do. Add moderator. Okay, now I got lots of mods. Hopefully that'll help. Oh yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh no worries, Crow. We're on this together. Yeah, I'm finally made Reese a mod after I don't know how long. So, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, those bots are kind of crazy though, coming through like that. So, but yeah, so that basically is uh, our experience. Like, I mean, it's definitely very unsettling here. Like at first, I'm like, oh, be no problem sleeping in the rooms, mm -hmm. but now it's like. I, I feel very unsettled. Yeah. Then the lights went out and sun went down. Yeah. Very different story when it's dark. Yeah. And there's like, it was what's really neat about this place is that there is like, um, I'm just pointing over there because that's where the book is, but it's like a guest book. So people write their experiences. Um, so um, we kind of got some little bit of background of people. Oh, there's my husband. Have fun. Okay, guys. Aw, Ron. There's, there's my husband. Say hi to Ron. But, uh, yeah, we're having fun. Already freaked out a bit. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, people wrote down their experiences. So, there's been cigar smoke. A lot of people have wrote down. A lot down. of cigar smoke comments. Yeah. yeah. In the green room, which is where I'm supposed to be sleeping. So, um, yeah. That's great. And then, uh, oh, being felt like you're being tucked in. That's like another one very common. Um, so I don't want to give away too, too much about the history of this place, but basically this was used as like the sick, like sick floor. Sick wing, yeah. I guess you could say. Yeah. It was like a family home and this is kind of like the sick area. 
Um, there was said that one person passed away here, so yeah, like the I'm not just checking in on my wife. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, I was gonna say, oh, yeah, so uh, oh, yeah, but the two kids, so the family of the Becks had uh, nine children, two children did die within a year of each other, um, in this house, too. So there could be potential children's spirits, which yeah. we did have an interesting experience with um, an EMF reader. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty, uh, pretty neat. So definitely feel like there is a kid's energy around some, some little prankster. I'm like, definitely determined yeah. there's a little prankster around here. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we will be nice and tucked in by the ghosts tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know if you're talking about my kids or what's happening here, but yeah. Oh my gosh. That's another thing. And they also like pressure on the bed too. So we're in for a really cool night. I'm really excited. And it's really cool that this place is really not that far and it's really inexpen inexpensive um, to stay at really for one night. I mean, I probably would have wanted to be a couple nights here, but yeah. Yeah. Some really, really cool, really, really cool places. Um, so I love my chat. It's you guys are absolutely hilarious. Sorry, they're talking about like being tucked in. Okay, so uh, Tarnia, the place is I just post that up. Um, it was built in 1885, I believe. Um, it originally was um, uh, built for um, a local uh, guy who owns like um, the lumber mill. Um, he also was like the mayor of the town and stuff of the Tang machine. So um, it's super, super old. Um, I've added, when you watch, you watch the episode, you'll see some B-roll footage of the place. So it's really unique looking. Like it's your traditional, like you look at it and you're like, it's haunted. Like it looks like an old haunted house. So um, it's really, really neat. And the walking up the stairs. They actually, it's funny that you said that you heard the voice in the stairwell because they do say they hear women's like a voice in the stairwell too. So um yeah, I don't know a whole heck of a lot of history of this location. Um, I tried to look as much as I could. So, um, but definitely, the, or I think we're in for a pretty spooky night. Yeah. So, who wants to go actually see? I'm going to take you guys on a tour. So, I'm going to take you on a tour now, guys. So, be prepared for this awesomeness. I'm just kidding. It's not, I mean, it's pretty awesome. But, okay, guys. So, so, I'll take you on a tour of the living room first. So this is kind of like the sitting room. Um, you'll see some of our equipment. I do have EMF reader. You got the, obviously the spirit box and the, uh, what's it called? Spirit box and noise gate and stuff. So this is like the living room. So this is, I feel very funny walking around with my laptop and not like a phone or anything. So um, and I feel like I'm backwards, but there's a chair there. And then we got um, the TV, a really nice TV. It's huge. And then we got like some games and stuff in there. And then over here, this is pretty weird. This is the hat closet. Yeah, guys, look at this. So there's a whole bunch of hats. Yeah. I found some hooker gloves, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and also there's a really, really creepy doll. Reese, can you hold up the creepy doll? Oh, yeah. I told Cassie that this was going on the end of her bed tonight. Yeah, check this doll out. Isn't that freaky? Oh, these doll their dolls are everywhere, but that is so yeah. weird. So weird. Okay, so I'll take you on to this is where we were sitting. This is where um our sitting station basically is. Sitting station. It's called a table, guys. I'm such a dork, sorry. So and then we've got the kitchen. So it's like a fully a full kitchen, guys. Like you could stay here, no problem, and like, you could live in here. I don't know if you'd get much sleep, but you know. <laughs> um, and then down this way, I'll show you guys, um, is like a little pantry, um, which is pretty weird in here. I It's kind of creepy. Okay, so then, guys, okay, this is it, guys. We're going into the weirdness areas. Okay, so this is kind of like where you walk in. Um, you'll see that's the green thing. So this is a bathroom. So... Anyways, but I have to show you the really cool thing. Is there's a claw foot tub? Really cool. So there's that. I know a hat closet only in Canada. So, <laughs> and then guys, okay, here's the green room. I just thought I saw something. Okay, so that is the bed that I'm supposed to be sleeping on. 
not that's sure awesome. about that one. Um, so right here, and then here is, uh, there's a nice, you know, uh, sitting like vanity there. And then we got a closet, I believe, and then a dresser. Um, and then here's some more like doll stuff. Um, and then over here is a door that is like a hidden room door. So I'm going to show you guys where this goes because as you can see, there's a giant thing in here. Well, me being the nosy person I am, took a peek behind there. There's a whole goddamn wall space. So what did I do? Naturally, you take out the bookcase and you crawl back there, right? So there's just like a whole bunch of storage. And then there's this old school like drop off fire ladder thing like it stairs door and it goes drop yeah so that's pretty cool <laughs> oh cassie's in chat oracle is cassie ah. hey cassie um okay so then okay so that is that room okay so now we're going to the room where the pair or the pair tunes is so okay guys oh this place i tell you okay Oh, geez, I thought I just heard something in here. Yeah, and the music box is on. Yeah. There is the music box, guys. That's me, though. Okay, guys? So, we got the paratunes right there. Don't you love that mannequin? And we moved the rocking horse uh, over. It's kind of moving, but I think that's just because we're walking. Uh, so, that's a rocking horse there. Um, and then we got the bed obviously the bed and then we got over here is where the sat camera is and some like more creepy dolls so yeah guys so that's basically it uh for the tour so yeah it's pretty pretty kind of crazy here um now the paratrons eventually will turn off but uh yeah let me just get plugged back in here where did that over oh, right there It is really, really cool, Crow. I 100% would come back here again to investigate. Um, the area is, like, really, really pretty up here, too, especially when we, we drove. Um, luckily, we got through the day and basically just at sunset. It's a super, super small town. Oh, no, it's okay, Max. Um, yeah. Oh, so uh, Kim is asking it's a hotel or uh, be Air or a BNB, so it's actually well, Airbnb, Airbnb, yeah, yeah. So, um, you basically it's like you rent out the whole apartment area and then, um, you can rent out, I guess, for how many as long as you want, but yeah, no, yeah. it's really, 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 I think really there's cool. about like six or so units in the house, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, it's really, really cool. It's like super, 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 yeah cool looking old yeah and stuff. they keep it all old school like there's an old school sewing machine and everything yeah um you know i went through absolutely every drawer I possibly could when we got here so i discovered a lot of really cool old newspaper yeah. articles and stuff so they definitely like to keep it towards that old school very antique end of things which is really nice yeah. Oh, then here's Crow, of course, asking if there's food. Is there food? <laughs> Absolutely. We just finished having pizza. <laughs> yeah. So they, uh, there were some like snacks and stuff I didn't realize, but we brought our own food. So we had pizza. Yeah. So, <laughs> and we got sparkling water and no, no alcohol, guys. So, <laughs> no, no alcohol, just chocolatey milk. Yeah. And, oh, the condiments. No, actually, there was. There was uh, little packages of tartar, <laughs> tartar sauce. It was so random. I'm like, yeah. that's really weird. So. Mini bar? No. No, 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 mini, no bar. mini bar. No. So, I know. Oh, there's Black Cat. Hey, Black Cat. Sorry if I missed anyone, too, that were joining in because on my tour. So, chocolate milk is life. Chocolate milk is life. Yeah. It's all good, Black Cat. Yeah, you just missed the tour and the really creepy story. But, uh, yeah, no, this oh, is... Yeah. I'm sure it'll all, all be recapped when the video comes out as well. Yeah. Oh, Mike is asking... Where is it? Someone. I just thought... Oh, Michael. No, it's actually Perrier. Is that a Canadian thing? I don't know. I'm not sure. You guys have this? 
Were you guys on? <laughs> Ask the chat. Uh, you Americans got this stuff? Yay, man. I know. Oh, hey, Ollie. Thanks for joining. It's all good. Whoopsie, what am I doing? Oh, I don't know what's happening. Sorry, guys. I don't have my uh, my mouse, so I'm like a little bit funny. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat, guys. Make sure. Well, that's cool, Black Hat. She said playing the violin. I oh, guess okay. Is the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, it's hard to I hard to know because a lot of there's like some crossover, but there's not a lot of crossover. So yeah, yeah. Like ketchup chips and butter tarts, you guys are missing out. Yes, and coffee crisp. Oh, they don't have coffee. That sucks. Yeah. That and your Smarties are all jumbled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your yeah. Smarties aren't our Smarties, and they're not as good. No. No, they're like our rockets. Exactly. Blech. Uh, oh, Sharon, it's water, sparkling water. I think that's what you were asking. And poutine, yes, Sarah. Oh, and poutine. poutine, yes. And poutine, can't forget about the poutine. Oh, poutine is life. I love it. I could just eat and eat, eat poutine. <laughs> Our McDonald's actually has poutine too. So, yeah. How dare you just my spark? Crow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure one day I'll give you Canadian Smarties and then you'll understand. Yes. They're like M&M's. They're, they're kind of like M&M's, yeah. but better, like a thinner candy shell. More chocolate. Yeah. Always the better way to do it. Yep. Food is really clean in Canada. Ah, uh, I think we had different regulations. I'm going to say this late. I know our milk is cleaner. Because we, outlaw we outlawed the bovine hormone. And the States is like, whatever, so it gives you cancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, it's the chat. So like, our milk, for sure, I know is definitely safer. Yeah. Oh, and then my husband made a good point. Where did it go? Where is he? Poutine oracles. If you don't know what poutine is, Google it. Fries, cheese curds, gravy. Try it. <laughs> I just lost where I just saw. Oh, Kara, I guess where I just saw Ron. Oh, right there. Sorry. Oh, caramels too are like chocolate cake caramel goodness. They're so good. I've never had that. I don't know. I've okay, never well, had I guess that. I have to buy some. Yeah. Um, I haven't. I I don't think it has yet. Black cat. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to. I haven't gone to my post. Like my mailbox in a bit, so I'll check. Oh, Betty just asked a great question. Okay, I miss it. Um, Betty says, "Are we worried about bringing anything home?" So, oh, this yeah. was my Christmas present. Got three different types of sages in here. Very strong believer in smoking and cleansing, so we'll de definitely be doing that. And then I also keep an angry eye in my car for also to prevent things from attaching to you and following you home. So we definitely do take our precautions. Yeah. yeah. And I usually use, I'm more so, I don't necessarily use, like, I mean, well, I'm, well, she's did it in the car to us, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like. I was cleansing my crystals in the car. Yeah. <laughs> and so we got some we got yeah. smudged a bit. <laughs> yeah. But mostly I just use, like, for me personally, I just kind of use my intentions. And then I use, like, um, like basically God, like, ask for protection, that type of thing. So it's a little bit different. But I think it's good. And really, if you set your intentions, too, um, I think that helps, too. So I just thought, I think I missed, uh, yeah, uh, mailing package from the U.S. to Canada. And uh, opposite way is a pain in the butt. Oopsie, what did I do? <laughs> oh, your husband made also another great comment. <laughs> I gotta say, oh. a related comment that is a must. <laughs> yeah. Why are our ch like okay? I mean, you don't, you don't know this so much, but food is always in these paranormal chats. It's always brought up. <laughs> I don't know. So because we're all a bunch of hungries. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I see. Because Tarnia said about the fries and milkshake. Yeah. Oh wait, but who? The me Ghostbuster said that too. I don't know, you sure. Uh, oh, yeah, to Wendy's. Yes, on yes. the days. Dude, I hear that. Always charging crystals. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
What else? Oh, okay. Yeah. So with the French fries. I'm yeah. not yeah. huge on I mean, I, I've done I love it. it. It's but... great. Oh, yeah. Wendy's Frosties, though, are really good. I love Wendy's Frosties. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, I want to make sure. I, if I miss any comments, guys, also, um, the chat is actually popping off tonight. So, uh, Love please. Love to see that. That's awesome. So, okay. Making sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> We're making sure I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. Okay, where are we at? Uh, okay. Can't live off. What? Can't live off ghosts with food. Without food. <laughs> it is, I can't believe the chat's good. really, really yeah. good, guys. So, yeah, so if you guys have any questions too about anything about the location um, or, or whatever, um, if, if you know, ask us any questions, uh, we're up for it. Um, but yeah, this is not going to be a super, we're probably going to go for another half an hour or so. Um, oh, yeah, Ollie, it was like uh, great. Oh, what am I doing? Jeez Louise. Sorry, guys. Salt, yeah, crap fries. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. Thank you, KFC. Still affordable, Ron. Are you talking about the location? <laughs> um, so okay, the old the uh, the place is built in 1885, I believe. Um, if I'm correct on that one, um. Definitely, uh, it's super, super old, and it's. I think it's probably one of the first. Because if you're walking, it's actually kind of like in a sub, not in a subdivision, but you're kind of in town. But you can tell that it was probably one of the first like houses standing in the area at the time. So, um, and what? Okay, so what is your favorite? Actually, I'll pull that up. So, what is your favorite part of the place that you're staying? Um, I don't know. What's your favorite part? I think on this one. Uh, honestly, probably the creepiness of the rooms, like them just being so old. It's like you're walking into a time warp and that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I like the whole aesthetic of it. Absolutely. I think that's uh, probably um, for me too. Um, <laughs> get connor up there okay <laughs> connor's here so connor's my boyfriend guys guys the chat's going crazy i i told him to post something Where in the chat go? so we can po oh, put him up you. there uh, there's connor hi connor <laughs> ah. thanks for coming even though you're skeptical <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no i think i think the aesthetic of the place probably is my favorite um and the old, like the old, yeah. yeah just I like very much history. appreciated like all of the old school hats and bags and gloves and stuff. Yeah. I think it's really cool. And just like, it feels like you walk in, you feel like you're walking into history. So, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So have you heard any footsteps or seen any spirit figures yet? Um, I've not heard any footsteps yet because it's kind of hard because there is people staying here too. I'm um, in the other room. So it's kind of hard to like pinpoint if that was like a spirit ghost or whatnot as for spirit figures i could have sworn i actually saw something um near the bathroom um but i mean i don't know if it was my my eyes being or playing tricks or whatnot so um but yeah so i'm not 100 sure um really the only thing so far really was the emf reader going weird the paratunes going off which yeah. like blew my mind um so to make sure I'm not missing anything. So Mike just asked, it's always a hospital. So it's actually, it was a house, but they, uh, back in the old days, they used to like, usually, uh, well, at least for the people who are wealthy had like, would take a part of their house and use it. If the people were sick, they would, uh, hang out or hang out, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully get better or die in the area. So. Uh, sorry, Max just said, uh, I'm not even sure. That's weird. I don't know, but I haven't seen. It's hard to keep seeing. Yeah, there's like two new people who added, who just caught into the chat too. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see yeah. people. Okay, so I really want that pair of to go off. Hey, ghosts. Yeah, actually, that would just be the best. Either that or the REM pod right behind us. Yeah, 
yeah, because that freaking pair of tunes, that was like, and then I'm in the, the second time it went off, like Reese comes through the door and I'm in the kitchen, like, like ready to get my pizza ready. And I'm like, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I walk through the door, the pair of tunes is going off and Cassie's like, see? See? Because <laughs> I had just messaged her saying that uh, the pair of tunes just went off, like for the first time. So, so Levy, hey, Levy, thanks for joining. Sorry, I missed, out, I missed your live, but I was traveling up here, so. Um, and then nine children. So how many bedrooms? Um, there's like three different sets of apartments. So a lot. There's a, a lot. lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, ah, what the heck happened? What did I do? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Now, now that's actually Levy. He has two channels. Uh, he said wrong account. Oh, did I miss something? Oh guys, I'm so sorry. You get the ghost to come out. What? I just caught me. Uh, the chat just keeps going and going and going. You have no idea where you are. I don't even know. Oh, okay. There's the, okay. I see what you mean. My yeah. other person. Hi, thanks for joining. And then we also <laughs> missed Wendy coming in too. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. Thanks for joining. Sorry. I know I'm such a dork. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they don't want to bring, could provoke the ghost. Is that what you saw? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, okay. that's exactly why we don't bring Connor. Yeah. Because Connor will go around and go, there's no ghosts here, and then say very provocative things <laughs> to the ghosts. That would scare me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I think I missed it. Um, it's Jess. So thanks for joining me. I think I missed you earlier. Um, oh, and then Wendy. Hey, Wendy. She's new. I know that um, I just met her through Crows Live last night. Um, Wendy, okay. And then... I think, okay, I think, I, did I get everybody? Oh my gosh, look at this, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, another person. Oh, thank you. Uh, Hi, thanks, Cassie, awesome. for sending people along. That's awesome. Okay, I think I'm good now. I think I caught up. We're, we're caught up now. <laughs> Whew, that was like, I'm sweating, can you tell? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you met them, uh, it's funny. <laughs> Ollie. If you met them through Crow's Life, that's <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> Sus. I know we got like 26 yeah. people in chat. Holy crap. It's awesome, guys. Dude. Man, as my son's been saying lately, he's man. I just thought I saw a shadow. <laughs> Did I miss something? Oh, okay. So apparently my kitten is very confused because he sees me on the TV and I'm not actually there. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. I'm like trying to like keep up the chat because I didn't want to be sure I'm not missing anyone. And yes, it is awesome. It's very cool. So yeah, so no, any more questions, guys? Um, this is like basically just a hangout. Um We've only got maybe 20 minutes left. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot more investigating to do. We did like the main part behind us, but we've got two very creepy bedrooms to still get into. And yeah. a whole night of more and less likely no sleep. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, because we're going to do sensory depth still. We want to yep. do Crow's Method. So um, if you haven't watched other videos, we've been pretty much doing them every episode. I think there's maybe the first couple that we didn't do it. Um, but basically we use the, um, we use the perilous app with the spirit box. So I'm under in, in sensory depth and then we, I'm, I will repeat what I hear and then the perilous will go off. And then, cause I obviously can't hear it. Um, Reese will repeat what the words come through the perilous and see if there's any correlation, uh, between what I'm hearing through the spirit box and what, um the perilous says sometimes this doesn't make sense i mean like obviously where's my tattoo so it's like obviously the manatee sushi shoelaces doesn't make always make sense that's the reference um but sometimes it can make a whole heck of a lot of sense like tonight we've had some really weird um like with the perilous there have been some like really interesting uh words um coming through because we ask a question about names and a name would pop up or yeah different things so it's been really kind of neat that way um obviously we don't take everything for like paranormal we always want to debunk and make sure um that's why we like having lots of different types of equipment that way we can um basically like have them play off of each other and see like 
if the EMF reader went off at the same time, other things went off and that type of thing. So, but yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, I think it's me where I think we're really in. Ah, that's really weird. Max just said that. So yeah. I, like, I think we're in for a yeah, fun night and then Max night, literally yeah. just said it. So, yeah. So, but yeah. So you guys have any questions? Um, I think Max had mentioned about the curtains behind us. Yeah. They're pretty, um, 80s yeah they're, they're yeah. pretty 80s so yes crow okay so black hat excuse me crow is the reason why, i don't know if you guys know but crow's the reason why i have my youtube channel so um if it wasn't for him i would not be he up here on this mm -hmm. uh up here on this uh platform i guess I yeah and if she wasn't here i wouldn't be here so thanks crow yeah um, and Ollie asked a question, do I have a digital recorder? I do. Um, I've not had any luck in all my investigations. Um, we've, I've never gotten an EVP through my, my recorders yeah. or recorder. Um, really, uh, the only, um, like, uh, like my EVPs usually end up coming through my camera audio. So, which is kind of interesting. Oh, there's Arden. Arden. Hey Arden. So thank you for joining. And I think I'm not. Oh, I think because Black said, yeah. So there's lots of haunted places in Canada. Yeah. There's like, like, and we live around to some of the most haunted areas in yeah. Canada. So it is quite perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, we have like, we're like, well, the War of 1812 is like in our stomping grounds, basically. Yeah. Um. So, like, yeah. And then plus we go more up north and it's a lot of like the settlers and stuff, like settling like more northern Ontario. Cause like we're more north. Like we're more north right now. Yeah, we're so. we're out towards Barry area. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Max loves the 80s. Yeah. I'm not I'm like I'm fine with the 80s. My husband loves the 80s, and he probably can say that in chat too. So he's more the 80s music and whatnot. But oh, what am I doing? Sorry guys. I just hit that really, really hard. Uh oh, there's a thump. But that was probably people. That's the thing. It's really hard to say if you like yeah. you hear things if it's like paranormal or if it's just people walking yeah. around. Yeah, is it or is it your neighbors? You know. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. I might have missed that question. <laughs> oh, thanks, Crow. Yeah, it's been yeah. really exciting. Our growth and like in our channel has kind of just like skyrocketed, um, really recently. So it's been yeah. really really fun. So we're really, really happy to like basically put out evidence. And that's like what our goal is basically to see if we can capture any like paranormal evidence. And obviously not everything is paranormal. You have to really be careful. That that's why when different instances happen, when we do catch things, I'm I always say it's not paranormal necessarily paranormal. Yeah. This could be whatever. You know it's what I mean? It's just something weird. Take it as is, debunk yeah. it yourself, you know. Yeah. Think about it critically. Yeah. Yeah. So, but sometimes there's some really weird things like EVPs have come through and we're just like, what the heck was that? Or, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah. That is uh, pretty true. Yeah. Well, I like the 80s rock. Well, some of it, I guess. Yeah. So, or more like 70s. Rock. I was born late 90s, so I don't know if I have an opinion in this. <laughs> also, you guys, I don't know if you I mean, all of the this young girl thing in the chat. Yeah. Okay. You know what happened today? And I like then also made me feel old. And I'm not sure if it's just like a recent development, but it never dawned on me. So we were turning left at a green light, but it was a flashing green light. And Reese didn't know what it was. I was like, I'm assuming this is an advance, but I don't really know because I've grown up with the little arrows. <laughs> yes. So it was like a fl flashing, but I, then I was like, I'm like, is this an old thing? Like, I feel really old. Like, it was really funny. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. That, I don't know. That was just like, there's a couple of things that me and Reese, I was like, I feel, yeah. I feel yeah. old. So, oh, there he is. He's a punk rocker. <laughs> And then Black Hat, um, yeah, I definitely, hopefully it works out that I get to go to Reno in April. Um, oh, okay. That would be really cool. I'm going to have to look up if there is. Yeah. I don't know, actually. 
I'm not sure because that would be really up north. I think that'd be like, right, and that's what I'm thinking. Like that's that's way way up, but maybe there are some like First Nations around yeah. here. But I mean, we're very in the city, so I'm sure they took all of that out. Yeah, maybe we can get into a <clears throat> residential school. That would be cool. Yeah, that'd be interesting. For those yeah. of you who don't know, there's like. They're going through all the residential schools in Canada and they're finding hundreds and hundreds and thousands of children buried in unmarked graves yeah. around these residential schools. So let me tell you, racism did not skip Canada. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. yeah, but definitely Inuits would be up like near like like Northwest. Like Territory. Northwest. Yeah, yeah, none of it. No, none but of it. Yeah. Probably saying that wrong too, but I, I, I always say it. But oh, you guys are all talking about your ages. <laughs> I'm 84, so I'm 84, and you said you're 90. Yeah. Oh, did I miss Janine? Oh, Janine. Hey, Janine. Thank you for joining. 70, uh, I'm in 97, 1997. <laughs> oh, gosh. At least I'm not in 2000s, though. <laughs> True. It could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 1982. Sorry. I'm just like reading the chat. Yeah. It's okay, Wendy. I'm like, my geography is not like 100% either. So. And Connor, I know we have oh. to go to the Blue Ghost Tunnels, except you know that that is in a trespassing zone. And Cassie's not about to break the law and post it on the internet, which is the only reason why we haven't and probably will not do Blue Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, it's just because it's on private land, and I just don't want it. Kimberly, 96. Oh, oh your youngest I, child. Oh, yeah. never mind. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fine. too funny. Oh, then, Connor, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just because everyone goes there doesn't mean it's fine. <laughs> it's trespassing. It's on GM property. No, thank you. Plus, it's also dangerous, guys. People, like, you take the wrong turn, you're falling into a canal and dying. No, thank you. That's why it's trespassing. It's not because people were getting it's hurt. Dangerous. It's yeah. Dangerous. Just don't do it. That's all I gotta say. So that place is in St. Catharines. Um, it's basically there was a crane, a crane, not a crane, train crash, I think, in the early 1900s, and then people died, yeah. obviously. Um, and hence why it's uh haunted. So that's just my I mean, you guys do what do we do, but I kind of don't want to break the law. Because I really don't want to get arrested or get charged or anything. So. Yeah. And then post it on the internet. Yeah. I'll see that my husband. He's 1980. The he's, year of the monkey. He's very that old. That makes so very scared. much sense, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's funny. No wonder. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I mean, a lot of people do go to the Blue Ghost, and I just don't. I just don't want to. Like, it's just. I read, there's so many other locations that we can get into that are free, and like, just as haunted. Maybe I'm not even sure if Blue Ghost is haunted. Yeah. I Maybe mean, they say it is, but like, there's other places you can go and just and be safe. Like screaming tunnels, guys. So screaming tunnels. If you haven't seen that episode that I did, you did, or we did. That place freaking haunted. Yeah. Like, Went back three different times. Yeah, <laughs> to the point where now I actually want to go back again. I think we talked in our last um, our last uh, live stream. Or I, if any of my Canadian peeps um, or any of my U.S. peeps I want to drive up, we can go to Screen Tunnels. Um, it's free. It's on, on public land. Um, it's really, really cool. Like, it, I mean, oh, yeah. it was like I, every time we went back, it just got a little bit more. It's just like I saw a dress. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. If I get like sidetracked, sidetracked. Or looking into the creepy rooms. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So each time we went back to Screen Tunnels, it just got creepier and creepier. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, Screen Tunnels definitely is a place to go. Um, I mean, obviously, better weather. We kind of went in all different seasons. We went in the spring, 
Then we went in the summer the most yeah. times. So I totally missed Connor's old people joke. What? <laughs> that definitely sounds like something he would say, though. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Connor's original comment on oh. that. <laughs> but I suppose oh. that's also a fairly good point, Ollie. <laughs> yeah. Why don't I try to hide it? Okay, there we go. Oh, what? Oh, of course my husband would want to break the law. I'm just kidding. But. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, I'm not like even when we were in Waverly Forest from that episode I was like I'm gonna get lost and then yeah it was it was fine because we were like, in a, like there's no way we were getting lost in that forest but I was like I you know, you know so yeah oh I think I just saw someone Came Bigfoot. In, like, the Beck house brief history yeah um so, so hey Bigfoot yeah and then also Cheryl sorry hey Cheryl thanks for yeah. joining so Wendy just to give you a quick recap this was like an old uh, Miller's house. So he had nine children, lived in it with his family. Um, now it's subdivided into like six little apartment areas that are rented on Airbnb. So we're in room 302, um, which was also known to be kind of the sick wing where they went when they were sick. So yeah. a couple people, a couple spirits are said to be here, like a mom, a couple kids. So yeah, yeah very exciting times. Yeah. Yeah, and the, this house too, because it was owned by like the guy like the, who owned like a lumber. Like he was like he actually helped build uh, the rail. I forgot to tell you this, the railway uh, to the west too. So he's super super rich. Um, there's actually a museum in town too that was uh, I think one of those general stores or his office that he owned. Um, so, and I just saw some really really funny. I think that Connor posted somewhere. Where was it? Oh yes, Connor. Spin off episode. That would actually. I, oh my gosh, I, I think two, that would be pretty funny. That would be really funny. The two skeptics going like into. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh yeah, the UK like that is definitely. I mean, like, that would be amazing. That'd yeah, be like, that's future goals. Yeah, like um, like Scotland, Ireland are like a top, like top. Not like a, I need to get there. So, yeah. I mean, really, anywhere that's haunted and that we legally, legally can get to. <laughs> legally. <laughs> Bold underline. Legally. Um, yeah, no, I definitely would really go anywhere. Um, I think I missed it. I don't know where it is in the chat, but uh, Black Cat said about Virginia City, Nevada. That is definitely, like, it's going to happen in October, hopefully, for the Paracon. Um Hopefully, maybe in April. So, me and Ghost Vexers, um, and my husband, too, because he has to come along. I will be heading out that way. Uh, hopefully, as long as everything is okay with the whole, you know, the dreaded C-19 thing. I'm not, I, I'm not, I know I'm not, like, well, monetized, but. To, to jinx it. I don't want you to jinx it, so. Uh, on the inside. This time, I'm not even sure. I sorry, I'm like missing. There's so many comments. Yeah, and then um, yeah, the energy here is definitely like yeah. oh yeah, it's like oh so unsettling. Like I got goosebumps. Like I would just be sitting and I would just be like, look at Reese, my art, and I would just get goosebumps. It was like constant when we first started investigating because we've kind of already done a little bit. I was getting full body chills, like right down like my legs, like I could feel the whole body chills. So, um, and then it's funny. He, my husband was like, good sense of direction. We just talked about that because getting here, we took, it was fine. We both got distracted. We okay. I drove and I'm very proud. I only missed one exit. <clears throat> yeah. But that's, it was, that's actually uh, pretty good for me. Only missing the one. And it was like, not even that bad. We were still on track of time. <laughs> so it was all good. We, yeah. it was in Toronto. So that's why. Yeah, Wendy um, oh. just commented, I saw nine kids, any footsteps. Uh, we were talking earlier, it's really hard to pick out footsteps because there's other residents in the place and they're very old, creaky floors. So every time we hear a footstep, we don't know if it's our neighbor or not. Yeah, yeah, because like we, like, oh, we'll hear like muffled voices and stuff too, but it's hard. To, I mean, that is probably not paranormal. Um, yeah, so Arden just said here. Oh, and see you later, Black Cat. Thanks for drop, or stopping in. Yeah. Um. So, yes, the merch shirts that we are wearing 
are on the website. So yes, yes, and there's different ones. Um, there is uh, so Ghost Rexer just put actually put up the link. Um, so we have like different uh, color. There's one with red lettering. Um, and different. Uh, you can buy stickers, yeah. mugs. The mugs, guys. I don't have my mug here to show you. Um, excuse me, but it, it's uh, really really good quality. Way better than Teespring. My Teespring mugs disintegrate like the labeling disintegrated off of them basically um where my ghost like my uh ghost i was saying ghost factors <laughs> my weeping willow mug is like perfect so um yeah so just so you see so the ghost factors there for merge merge i don't know why i said that really weirdly um and thanks Wendy. yeah uh and then thank you janine Thank you. Oh, see, oh thanks, Ghostbusters. Ah, oh, thanks. Yes, thank you. That's awesome that you got merch. You got more people out there wearing the stuff. I just, I basically wanted my merch just so I could, we could wear it on investigation. Yeah. So, um, oh, I see, Arden, but it doesn't have the white. I'm looking at the. Okay, yeah. And then, oh, we're not on Twitter. At least I'm like, yeah, we're only Instagram and Instagram. That's it. Yeah. And Facebook. I think my link was like, if you do want to contact me though, Terry, my, um, I got my email, even my email. Um, if someone wants to share my link tree, I have like my email, my Instagram yeah. is it all there. It was shared earlier in the chat. I know the link tree oh, was yeah. shared earlier. That is true. If I saw something, okay, there we go. New comments. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just like reading yeah. the chat. Sorry, I'm like getting distracted. Sorry, guys. I got a yeah. little, I don't know. Is there any like last minute questions that you guys oh. have about this location? Yeah, or any questions about our equipment um, or anything like that? Because we do have, uh, Oh, there's the link tree. Oh, thank you, Janine. Thank y'all. Ah, uh, hey, Frank. Thanks for joining. That's Frank. His name is Aww. Frank. <laughs> yeah, the same. Okay, Terry, I'll definitely get in contact with you. Just remember his name, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there it will be recorded in the chat. For that's, that's true. That's true. Sorry, guys. My brain is like, I'm like, holy crap. I'm like sweating to death right now, too. So, um, yeah. So, any, yeah. Any more questions? Um, everyone saying hi. Yes. We will. We'll probably end up falling asleep. I'm probably sleeping on the couch. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because the beds are like. Only yeah. double. I don't even know. Although I do kind of want to sleep in the bed because there's lots of stories about be people being like touched and tucked in yeah. and stuff. So, I mean, like it's tempting, but also people have been touched and tucked in and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, it's discouraging at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I just saw another person. So, Journey to the Gate Paranormal. Thank you. Thank you, Cassie, Yay. again. Thanks for joining. Um, and then, yes, so, um, so Wendy, we have, um, so our, obviously we only have about eight videos out right now. So we're like, we're really brand new, um, to this, but then are now like, we kind of like, we're starting off cause we get, just got, um, I got, obviously I should already show this so a new camera. So we're going to be, uh, our quality, like for everything will be like a lot better too, uh, for the coming up videos. So, um, I did. I'll hide the, I'll hide the mannequin in the hidden room yeah, accent. Uh, yeah, I'm probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you so much, Cassie, for sending people over. It's really, really awesome. Um, what did Connor say? Connor said, "Oh, try punching the ghost if it attacks you." <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sure that will that will definitely happen. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, then uh, Wendy. Yeah, and there are other. My first videos were kind of a little bit long, but they are. Yeah. No, they're good. Yeah, they're really De good. Definitely, like, 
the, they have a little bit more shorter ones. And we kind of like, I first few episodes were investing with my husband, Ron. Um, and then I met uh, Reese through, oh, I already knew you for a while, yeah. but like through school. And then I was like, Reese, you want to come investigating with me? And then, <laughs> and it was like, uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. So. Is that even a question? Yeah. Connor's really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Man's why. Really e. that, that's why I keep him around because he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, and yes, <laughs> girl, I love you too, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll be safe. We'll be totally safe. It's, yeah. Yeah. No, we'll be good. <laughs> yeah. We might like. We might get tucked in. Or, like... I mean, if that's the worst it does, it's, like, just tuck you in yeah. a bed. I mean, there's a mom here. That's got to be some real mom energy, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but anyways, so that's it, guys. So, there's yeah. no more questions. Thanks for uh, joining us. Um, Thank you, everybody, for popping in. We reached, like, 26 at one point, which was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, too, or if you want to, like, reach out to me, I um, my link tree, if you saw before, um, most of you guys know who I am, but I do have an Instagram, um, or we, oh, like, I, I operate it. Oh, the Awoken one. Hey, thank you for joining. I'm just about to finish. Thanks for popping yeah, in. Yeah, thanks for popping <laughs> in. But this will be posted up, so you guys can watch it, a rewatch. Um, so, but, um, let's see. Yeah, so, um yeah, the, the Weeping Willow Instagram bit probably one of the best, easiest ways to find me. Um, I we do I do post different information on there and whatnot. Thank you, Janine. Um when okay, so this episode I'm my goal is Thursday. So Thursday at 9, uh 9 30 or 9 p.m. probably um Eastern on, on Thursday. I don't know why I just said that multiple times. <laughs> on Thursday, that's my goal, guys. Um, so, um, that's it. So thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you. And I will maybe post some like little tidbits, maybe on my Instagram, um, about our investigation. Um, but I don't want to, uh, totally give everything away. So, yeah. cause who knows what we'll catch up obviously. Right. Yeah. We only did a short investigation before this, so there's yeah. plenty more to do. And I like, oh my gosh, like with the freaking Paratunes guys. Yeah. I hope okay. that one goes off and we got it, like, the first two times. Yeah. I just saw something. Did I, uh, what? Did I tell you? Okay. <laughs> to say... Remember to say thank you when they do. Yes, we yeah. did. Yeah, absolutely. We actually did. I did say thank you, didn't I, at one point? Yeah, probably. Because there were some it's weird things happening. It's just a natural happening. reflex at this point. Yes. Actually, and we say sorry a lot, too, but, yeah. Yeah. So, but anyways. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we're going to go log off. See you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.